What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about which code editor you should use when coding with PHP. Now, the code editor you use can make a huge difference in your productivity, your efficiency, and your ability to customize or debug your code. Now, the options I'm gonna recommend are cross-platform compatible. They're good on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux as well. All right, if you're not already part of the community, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification icon so whenever I create new videos, you'll be notified. And as always, any code snippets I might create or code tutorials, you can find those snippets of code on my website at pixelmerb.com. I make it easy for you to copy and paste the code to use within your local development environment. All right, so the first one I'm gonna talk about is VS Code. Visual Studio Code is a free, open source, and cross-platform compatible code editor. It's very customizable. It comes with a lot of good features built in, and you can extend it with different modules and extensions. Over the years, it's become very popular with developers, and it's one that I definitely recommend. Now the next one besides VS Code is going to be Atom, and you can get this at atom.io. This is also cross-platform compatible. It comes with a lot of great features as well, and provides you everything you need in terms of coding for PHP. Now, mind you, VS Code and Atom are both free open source text editors. Now the next option, Sublime Text, is also very popular. You're gonna see a lot of tutorials done with Sublime Text, and it's one that's been used for years and years. Now the thing about Sublime Text is you're free to use it, pretty much unlimited without having to purchase a license. But if you are gonna use it as your main editor, it's always good to support a developer, and you could buy a license from them, and that'll be good in perpetuity. So it's basically a freemium type model, and it's a very good editor. Now the last one, this one is a premium IDE, Integrated Development Environment. And this one I use on a daily basis with my larger projects. This one has a lot of built-in support for different frameworks and libraries and content management systems. As you can see here, it works with Symfony, Laravel, Drupal, WordPress, Zend, Magento, Joomla, CakePHP, Yi, and other frameworks. You can also customize the way the editor looks and the way it works. Now let's take a look at each of the different editors and some of the features that they come with. First, I'm gonna start off with VS Code. I'm gonna open a folder. Now I have my project folder right here. On the main screen, you get the welcome screen itself. You can customize your environment. You can check out your settings and your key bindings, your color theme. You can find all commands. They have a lot of good different links over here to help you streamline your workflow and get familiar with VS Code. We can close this out. If you go to File, Preferences, and Settings, you can see some of the settings that are offered by the editor itself. And you can also go to your JSON file, and this will be something you can customize for your environment. You could also check out the extensions. You can see the extensions you have enabled, the recommended extensions, and any extensions you have disabled. You could also change your color theme to something different. Let me open up a file here. Let's say we're gonna go with Monokai. You see it gives you a different color theme. Now, one thing about editors is most of them have these features built in, especially the more robust ones like VS Code, Atom, Sublime Text, and of course, PHP Storm, and some other options as well. But you can see that some of the things you wanna focus on in terms of choosing an editor is the way you can customize it. Do they have line numbers? Can you fold your code? What type of support does it have for find and replace? And what support does it have for built-in terminals? Now VS Code already comes with a built-in terminal, which is great, so that way you don't have to have two windows open, and you don't need to install a module for this. You also have a debug console, the output, and any problems with your code will be um, prompted with an alert in this area in the problems section. So I like VS Code, I think it's a really good option, especially in terms of the free code editors. It gives you almost everything you need in terms of developing with PHP. It's good for small projects, good for big projects, and you could really extend it with different modules. Now let's move on to Atom. And this is the Atom text editor right here. It has a lot of great features as well. It's a nice clean default theme. You can go to your file and your settings, and you can work with your settings over here. Look at your editor settings, your URI handling, any information about your system settings, 
These are your key bindings. Any packages you have installed or may want to install. Any themes you have, you can change them here. If you need to check for updates, you do that here. And if you want to install any packages, you can do that here. Either packages or themes. If you want to open up your config folder, you can click right there. And this is your config folder. So that's Atom. It supports line numbers. You can see your white space, has good color themes, has bracket matching for your code, good code folding, search and replace is really good. It's a nice editor. Okay, so now let's take a look at Sublime Text. This is a very popular editor. I'm gonna open up a folder and it has a really nice user interface. One thing about Sublime Text is that it's very fast. Probably the fastest of all three so far that I demonstrated. And it has the same type of support for various features just like VS Code and Atom. The only difference is that this is a freemium model and if you want to get a license, that'll be $80 as of the recording of this video. If you don't, you can still use it. You're just going to have this unregistered at the top and every now and then you're going to get prompted to purchase a license. My belief is if you're going to use this editor on a consistent basis. It's good to support the developer and make that one-time purchase. Other than that, Sublime Text is a great editor and has a lot of the same features that the other editors have. One thing I always recommend is, you know, take a look at the various settings you have, see what features come built in, how can you customize your code editor to make it suit your needs. I think a little bit of time invested up front can one save you a significant amount of time either debugging your code or coding in general. So definitely invest the time up front when you can. Get familiar with your editor. Personalize it and make it your own. Now let's take a look at the last one that I mentioned, which is PHP Storm. Now PHP Storm is my everyday IDE. It's an integrated development environment and I use it because it's extremely robust has built-in support for various libraries and frameworks and content management systems. So for instance, I can go into a file. Let's say I'm gonna go into, I'm just gonna pick a file. All right, so I can go into any file and I can hover over pretty much any snippet of code that I need to. And it can show me where that, in this case, this function is defined at. Now, a lot of this you can actually get in VS Code as well. You would just have to install a extension in order to get that feature. But it's something that is more fluid in PHP Storm. So here you see we have the function reference. There's a lot of features that PHP Storm has and, and I will probably create a more in-depth tutorial on how to use each editor and how to configure each editor. That's beyond the scope of this video. I just wanted to give you a rundown of the various code editors and IDEs that I use and that I recommend. PHP Storm is probably one of my favorites. I do pay for it since it's a premium solution, but I think it's worth it, especially if you're going to be working on larger projects and if you want to have some of the robust tools that are already built into it. For instance, with PHP, you can set up how you want your tabs and indents to be, spaces, wrapping and braces. You can also go to languages and frameworks, and you can see you can choose from different versions of PHP. So PHP Storm is a great solution, especially if you're going to be working on some larger projects. All right, so what do I recommend for a beginner, someone just getting started? I think that VS Code and Atom are great options. They both have a lot of built-in features that will streamline your workflow as a developer. But I think VS Code has the edge since it has a lot more features built into it that out of the box makes it more streamlined for developing. But VS Code and Atom are great options. Again, they're both free. I think provide you with pretty much everything you need to get started coding with PHP and of course with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and other languages. If you want Sublime Text, you can pick that up as well. And you can support the developer by getting a license to that. And if you're working on larger projects or if you want more features, I think making an investment in something like PHP Storm is worthwhile, especially since it'll save you time. Again, these editors and IDEs are supported on all platforms. And they're some of the best editors you could use. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And just remember, download the editor of your choice, play around with it, get familiar with it, and make it your own. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy coding. Mm -hmm.